My name is David Wilkinson. I'm the executive chef here at Skipjacks. And we're going to make to you today the perfect home shrimp scampi. Okay? That we make at the restaurant. And we're going to homify it so you can make it at home. So scampi in Italian means shrimp. But the dish actually means how we make something also. So today we're actually going to learn how to saute something. Sometimes these shrimp shells, you're going to be asked to use these and put them into the freezer. You'll put them into a bag, okay, because they'll make a very nice shrimp stock for another dish. Utilization on any of your products is very, very important when you're cooking something, okay? Because these shells, like any skin, is where most of the flavor comes from. Anyway. So, shrimp can't be, these are what we call U12 shrimp meaning they're under 12 per pound, which is something that's a colossal shrimp in the market, is what we call it, all right? So if you get a colossal shrimp, these things are huge, all right? So again, the little legs come off, we're peeling. Take off all the shell, and we're left with that, okay? That is a huge, beautiful U12 shrimp, okay? And that's what we're going to use. Okay. When we devein, like any animal, every animal has a vein, okay? And the vein is where it removes the waste from its body, okay? It's nature, it's what happens. If you don't devein the shrimp, you're going to end up getting a gritty flavor in the shrimp. On this particular shrimp, you can actually see it. It goes right down the back side. So we're going to take a paring knife, just pierce the skin. We're going to fold that back, and you can see the vein. Okay, very simple. And the knife takes the vein right out. Vein is removed, still a little bit of dirt left in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse it when we're finally done removing the muscle. When you do a dish like this that only takes three or four minutes to cook on the stove, it's extremely important to have your mise en place ready. That means having everything in its place, ready to go as you're cooking it. So today, what we're going to be doing, we have fresh butter for the saute, we have fresh linguine pasta, the peeled and shrimp, peeled and deveined shrimp we just did, fresh lemon, garlic cloves, parmigiano cheese, fresh shallots, red pepper flakes, kosher salt, Italian flat leaf parsley, the garnish will be with a fresh uh, curly leaf spinach. I have fresh black pepper, ground, extra virgin olive oil, extremely important using extra virgin olive oil for this particular dish because it will create much more of a thicker sauce. And the white wine, key component of the white wine, okay, which will be the base of the sauce, which we'll be reducing down. And people ask me all the time, what type of wine do we use for cooking? Okay. Honestly, the wine that you use for cooking is the wine that you like to drink at home. It really doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter if it's uh, Pinot Grigio, whether it's Chardonnay, whether it's Late Harvest, whether it's whatever. What you're having in your refrigerator or at home, what you're drinking with your dish. Finishing all my diesel plus, okay? Chopping garlic. I'm all for fresh whole garlic cloves, but if you buy it in the store, that's fine, okay? So with the whole garlic cloves, you have the clove. Take off a little bit of an end, okay? The garlic cloves goes on the board, a large French knife on top of it, and it's just smashed. So basically, that's when it's ready to go. Again, one more time. Take off the root end on top, smash. So you're really just smashing that garlic, okay?
that's done. Aromat, actually, would be a fresh shallot, okay? In the onion family, but very similar to shallot, garlic, scallion, has much more of a depth, balanced flavor, so you're not just taking, not just tasting a uh, hard garlic flavor. And we're going to dice this just like we dice an onion. Second, done. I have my garlic, I have my shallot. There are two types of parsley you're going to find out there in the market, okay? You're going to find curly parsley, which you see it on garnishing a lot of dishes, and then you're going to have the flat leaf parsley, or Italian parsley. This parsley um, has a lot more flavor than curly parsley, okay? So, this simple Large pieces are fine. This is almost like a vegetable aromatic flavor that's going in. It doesn't need to be chopped that fine. Done. Last preparation item that we're going to need will be lemon. Okay? Now, a lot of people, you'll see a lot of recipes just using lemon juice. And that's all fine. But the most flavor comes from the outside of the lemon. Okay? For the zest. The zest. What you can find out there in the market now is a microplane, okay? This is perfect. A lot of people will use a grater, but you don't want to get the white pit underneath the yellow skin. You want to stick to just having the yellow. So a microplane is perfect for that. And what you do is you just draw it across the skin of the lemon to get the zest. You can see it right there. Incredible amounts of lemon flavor, incredible amounts of lemon oil. That's where the oils are, okay? And that's all you need for one dish. And we'll use this, the juice, in the dish as we make it. I'm all ready to actually start to cook this because I've got my garlic, my shallot, my parsley, my lemon done. Pasta, fresh pasta is ready to go. My shrimp are peeled in the vein. Everything else is ready. So we're going to put this in a saute pan, okay, and cook it up.